Menswear finally grabs the spotlight on the biggest US fashion runways on the 13th of July, as New York City catches up to other global design capitals, already giving men's styles their due. More than 50 designers will unveil their looks, hoping to catch the eye of discerning buyers and critical editors, who will choose their favourites for next year's spring and summer seasons. You know, I think it's exciting that actually here in New York that Men's has its own dedicated fashion week. Many times it's been rolled into the women's collections and probably really hasn't been given the predominance that it really deserves. There's so much great talent here in New York. There's such a great contribution from the men's designers that work here in the city. I'm thrilled to see that they're having their own moment. The four-day event by the Council of Fashion Designers of America is the New York debut of Fashion Week Men's. Until now, men's wear shows traditionally have been mixed with hundreds of women's shows in twice-a-year events in the city. It's really a business decision, one that pulls the men's shows out of the women's market and aligns their shows with the men's market. The men's wholesale buying period is right now before there was a disconnect. And now you show and you sell at the same time, which makes sense. U.S. men's apparel sales totaled $62.7 billion in the 12 months ending May 2015 just over half the total for women's apparel over the same period. Men's apparel sales grew 2%, just short of the 3% rate for women's. London, Milan and Paris already hold separate men's fashion weeks. Recent men's styles in Europe range from a fanciful see-through black lace jumpsuit to crinkled nylon jackets and shoes with light-up soles. Feeding the trend, more public figures and celebrities are now style icons. Younger workers have transformed workplace attire and technology gives consumers quicker access to styles. New York Fashion Week men's will run from the 13th to the 16th of July.